night patrols across the entire town from 6 p.m. The latest efforts to secure Mandera town. Police and the Kenya Defense Force stop and search, taking suspects in for questioning. <laughs> In another part of the town, the police rapid deployment unit prepares to patrol. A daily mission that can at any time end in an ambush. Following the attack at uh, the attacks at Garissa, we had a threat that also Mandera was in the list of a terror attack, either today or any other time during this Easter holiday. So we are put in place uh, measures to ensure that uh, our area of Mandera town is secured. The group has plenty of informal Al-Shabaab remains in control of large parts of Somalia that neighbor Mandera currently from hideouts close to Mandera. Gunmen launch hit and run attacks frequent and a ready stream of new recruits. Mandera's residents fear similar attacks to Garissa given the town's proximity to Somalia but also say the curfew should be eased. We have a lot of fear. If Garissa, that is very far from the border, has been attacked, what about Mandera, that we are wall to wall with Somalia? So we are afraid. We are very afraid. This curfew won't help us so much. There are emergencies. There are women who would need to deliver. With the curfew, they would be at grave risk. They can even die in their homes. It won't be good. Bala. Tomorrow might not be the same though. Mohammed Primori, CCTV, Mandera, Northeastern Kenya. Tonight's patrol is counted a success. The town has been swept. There's been no casualties.